got 25 minutes on the tape. Make sure you get back back here by the road. Okay, Melissa got her trailer pulled in. But it's stuck. It's stuck, stuck, stuck. And he still ain't here yet. <laughs> Look, you can see where, where he's just barely touching that dick. It can fall away. <laughs> if it rains any more than it has, it's going to fall away. Okay, We're waiting right. for him to get here before it rains. It is, what time? It is 5 to 10 on Sunday morning when they're supposed to be here first thing in the morning before the rain comes through. We already had a light sprinkle. I feel the trailer should have been back down the road and drove on the the padding that we had put down so it wouldn't sink, but I guess some people have a different idea. They are professionals, aren't they? And the little corner of the trailer got ripped back when they turned in the road down there. You know, and then down by an end. Must have clipped one of her trees because we was facing the other side. But if they don't hurry up and get here, the trailer will sink in the dirt. And we've tried to call twice, but no answer. It's not really stuck stuck, it's just spinning in the spot, not moving. Probably from all the weight. But they disconnected the trailer and it fell off the jack, off the block. And see if they can move the truck. But still, the truck just sat there and spin. I guess because the weight of the block. And the other back tire is about the same. And we just paid 10000 for the trailer. And his fee is going to end up 1200 for the trailer and 500 for the porch. Plus all the ties we had to buy. What you told us were $7 a piece. Okay. Okay. Make sure it's found those. Make sure so we can see there's no dents or cuts. So when they do there's move it, if they jackknife it or put a dent in it, I mean the trailer needs to be pressure washed. But as far as anything else, there's no holes or dents. There's much water all The only damage to the trailer is where they caught it on the tree. Pulled off anyway. Look, she hates me. Yes, I got a place up. Yeah, 
Don't pull it. You got a big hobby cake paint on that? Because it's, it's um, killing right here. Look at this one. Right here. It's killing us. Oh, see over here, it's all over them. It's it's all right over here, except for this crap. Right here, whatever that was. It's not all the way around. It's possible. It's all right. How mad are you? How mad are you? <laughs> oh, we have a messy head. How mad are you? Anthony, how mad are you? Don't get this whole film with me in the trailer because then they're going to say, that's what's sold. You've been done. Well, how do you get that black thing off around it? What's going on? Okay. Can you see in here? Can you turn on the light? Yes, I can see. It's just got oh, that thing. It's not that it's hard. What is it? Yeah, we should put kills on these wall of sharks that kill. There's a little bit in the dark. And it pees yeah. purple. I'll do this every minute. I'll do it for her. I'll do it for her. Let's go check Moses right now. This is my season of interest. The red can be right here. It's there. 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 It's nasty, man. That's where they're going to be getting yeah, we know yeah. Look, we're going to put kills on this wall. Yeah. We got to. That's because it's not that much. But it'll save us a whole lot right. of trouble. And you can't be around with it, neither. Because that's the most potent paint they got. Make you sick. Look at it, look at it. Well, we came back from the hospital from having the baby, and to surprise, the trailer is pulled up on the pad. It's not leveled yet, as you can see. It's still on the tires. But we're not supposed to have rain for about a week and a half or so. Don't so. Crap, they didn't want to <laughs> Maybe. All the bull crap. <laughs> Maybe it'll um, get leveled sometime this week. There's all the blunts. They threw off the back of the truck. And our new straps, which are probably going to bust now. Guess they get wet again, I guess. But it's not sitting on no blocks or nothing. I don't know how they're going to get it up off the ground. And remember before I showed you there was no dents or dings on the trailer? Well, they must have jackknifed it or something because they got this huge dent over here now and the window's crushed on the corner. But he must have backed into it. So somehow it's that's got to be fixed because water is going to pour right down into the crack. If you can see, you can see the stud of the trailer. I don't know if it'll pick it up, but you can see the insulation right there. So when it rains, it's going to turn down into the wall. And that's the window seal now. But besides that, being flat on the ground and not level, we'll see how long it takes till it gets 
it's off the ground. And there's some more of her bonds. They don't look like they're busted up. Which we had enough blocks under the trailer before, so I doubt we'll have enough now. And then there's some more over there. And there's some more over here. There's one busted there. And there's some more over there. So I don't know how they're going to have enough blocks to re-block the trailer back up. And if they're all busted up now. And the porch still hasn't been delivered. I can't take my hair. <laughs> and surprisingly enough, the day he moved it back here, I asked him if everything was okay back here to pull it in, and he said yes. He seen no problem with getting it in back here. Alright, I heard him this morning at 9.30. I thought they was doing the regular every year little trim. But I come out here and they have butchered everything. They got my one little Christmas tree that I had right here, right down the side. This Christmas tree, which is in the driveway. This Christmas tree, cypress tree, whatever. Yeah. It's backed up in here by my hundred dollar crate myrtle. Chop on it. And not a bit of it was hanging over the road anyway. I had limbs all over my car. It's just lucky that it didn't bust anything. And down here, they kind of went in for this tree. Saved this tree, it looks like. For... And then it took me years to get these red tops for privacy. Now it's just all chopped up, splintered up sticks when it is about four feet away from the ditch with the ditch there by the road. And red tops don't hang all over the road for them to even trim. They grow, their branches grow straight up. As you can see, they did the same thing farther down. Plowed it into the side of them and trimmed all the lower branches. So there is no privacy whatsoever on the lower branches of the tall red tops. And as you can see, they don't spread over the road. Red tops grow up. Their limbs grow up. And it's like that all the way down. The other complaint I have is the ditch. For years I was told my ditch was going the wrong way. Because it used to be on this side of the road and run up to 16 section. And I never had a bit of trouble with the drainage. They blacktopped the road, cut up my septic line that we paid extra money for traffic to be go over to cross the road. They cut up the pipe. It took them 
months to come back and give me a different pipe for my drainage on my side. And they dug me a little hole for it to drain in. Then they came back and dug a little ditch all the way to Karen Rester's mailbox. And it still wouldn't drain. Call it backing up, plumbing, smelling in the house. But it's supposed to drain this way. If you look down the ditch, there's no way anything to drain down this ditch. There's my, my septic sludge stops about right here. If you look on this side of the road, they didn't even touch her bushes that are hanging over the ditch. But for some ungodly reason, they trimmed all my stuff back five feet off the road. Or more. Probably about seven feet. And they just left it. Limbs, branches, debris. And this is where my septic comes out with all of this debris. Which I've complained several times from the come dig the ditch and they which you can't even see the pipe. I probably can't even find it on the video here. I can't even see where my pipe comes out now. Comes out right there. There's my septic pipe, the green pipe. The water just dribbles out and goes nowhere. Which is supposed to go all the way down. There. And the ditch comes from my house. Just to come through here, as you can see. This ditch is all dry. Dry, dry, dry. It's dry till you get right about here at the back of Karen Rester's property where she has her septic dig straining out. Then there's sludge in it. And then there's water. Which all it is is supposed to flow straight back. As you can see, all the water just sits. Not moving. Stagnating. Mosquito infested. They did finally trim the grass. But as you get closer back here to my daughter's property, the water still just sits. Just sits. Not going nowhere. The water still continues to sit, not moving, not budging, not till you get up around the bend, which they dug just wrong anyway. It was supposed to go around the edge of the property, instead they cut right through the middle of my two acres here to go to the canal, which they ended up going across some doctor's land that owns an acre in between the back there. Went straight across his without permission. As you can see, it still has water here. Really no water here. That's where all the water was, right down there. Hardly no water here. A little bit of water there. Another puddle there. As far as it goes all the way back to the canal, 
This is the ditch at the end by the cow. It was dry all the way to back here. It's still dry. So none of the water is draining down to the canal where it's supposed to. So we're screwed. Trailer disasters. We found another disaster. <laughs> yeah, well, I just wiped it. Wow. It comes from right here. You see the water coming out, right? We can on the right there. There's a light on, yes. Yeah. See, if you push it off like that, it's pouring water down my hand. And then it leaks down here and it hits that. Now watch out for this trim. It's got nails in it. Uh, well, there the stuff. <laughs> It'll hurt like worse than anything. What are you thinking? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you're gonna have to repaint right here. 
Problems with the generator. Gotta go. due to a dam break. Uh, there was a dam break at uh, 8 p.m. and again, uh, the residents of Carrier and Hideaway Lake are advised to evacuate immediately. I'm actually going to uh, show you uh, the radar view. There's the bus! Picking you, and there's been incredibly heavy rainfall in that area, and that is most likely what has caused the uh, dam break between 8 and 10 inches of rain 
has fallen, and apparently that has caused a dam break. And for that reason, the rest of the security. My arms around you, why'd you turn away? I know this seems so weird having another show, but this is a horse life part two. And Daddy is still not here. We're gonna see him tomorrow, so keep your film up. Okay? <laughs> hey girl, wanna go out sometime? Just need you to make Get a life. Now he really needs to get a left because he's dead. Oh, no, 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 no.